Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for uh, basic Sorgonomics, ready to get rocking here this morning. Um, and uh, this is your weekly challenge, and, and, and there's people joining me on Periscope, on Meerkat. If you're curious about how to get in on this, I got a few extra things this week that I'm, I'm kicking off. Uh, of course, we do these mini shows as well for Wrestling Mayhem Show, Awesome Cast, and we're starting them for insertcoidobegin.com. And uh, if you look about 7 in the morning, I'm going to try to get our stories of the day out, hashtag story of the day, uh, on any of those accounts. Please respond to any of those. And uh, we'll get you going here, and, uh, and and have some fun. Try to try to integrate you into the show a little bit uh, more, and uh, you know, just so it's not just my thoughts on these stories, and, and I get a little bit of a, a wider breath before we get these videos up, and I'm proven wrong or anything like that, which will uh, that, that will happen anyways. Let's be honest about that. Anyways, today this is your weekly challenge episode. Every Tuesday, this is uh, what is it? May the fifth. Hope you're surviving your. <laughs> May the 4th be with you hangover. Yesterday, uh, I had a little fun with some video and a fun new hat somebody brought me back from Jamaica. Uh, but hey, last week's challenge was do an audio thing. Again, you know, we talk, we're we talking about talked about this with video, but we're also looking at audio as well. You know, if you're somebody that's looking to get on a microphone and talk to people in this fashion or anything like that, I mean, I have about 10 years of this under my belt. So I... and. We we'll see. Did that actually do anything for my uh, performance? So you go watch some of those old episodes of Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm sure. I, I, well, there was an interview from 2009. We did a friend who now DJ Zima Ion on TNA, and I just hated it it's so bad. I did not know what the hell I was doing, and, and probably still don't. Um, but anyways, uh, but no. Hey, thank you, Gabriel. He's our MVP for these weekly challenges. He uh, posted another another uh, audio piece and sounded great and by the way he's asking me how do i get on the wrestling mayhem show that is exactly how you do it by 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 showing that you're somebody who can get on a microphone and can get on talk about things for a period of time and be interesting um then i want you on my show and especially somebody like you who's been writing in and commenting all over the place with opinions about professional wrestling uh so uh, gary bill look for an invite very soon for the wrestling mayhem show that's how garza got in yeah by mostly because he can roll his tongue more than any of us else on the show which is very appropriate for lucha underground so he wins he's also from like el paso texas so i think he's had a lot of practice anyways Aside from that, uh, so thank you so much. Oh, even another amazing thing. I didn't even talk about this, but amazing thing that Gabriel did in his audio uh, piece was a call to action. You know, what do you think about this? I, I think he was talking about, it was a week ago I listened, but it was, uh, I think he was talking about inspirations. And, and he talked about what, what inspires you, what gets you going. And uh, I, I thought that was really cool that, that, you know, he automatically kind of, you know, threw that in there. And, uh, and, and, and he's off to a great start there. So anyways, this week, uh, you know, I, I think we're kind of doing this a little bit with our other challenges, but I wanted to blanket kind of talk about this other idea. And, uh, you know, I, I, I see this reinforced in a lot of things that I listen to. Now, if you're looking for motivational things to get your ass going, um, some of the big stuff for me, uh, some of the stuff that got me going, and I just actually, you know, spit some of these out for an interview that posted last night. Um, I can't remember the site off the top of my head. Uh, it's like podcasts are awesome or something like that. And uh, but well, thank you, thank you so much. I, I will, I will properly plug those throughout the main shows this evening. I, pr I promise you that. Uh, but um, you know. One of the motivational things that I had uh, going on, one Gary Vaynerchuk, go listen to that stuff, and a lot of great stuff on social media, and just how to be online in general, and how to get yourself out there, and whatever you want to do. Uh, Crush It, if you get the audio book for Crush It, is my, my, I try to listen to it once a year as my kind of personal cheerleader to kick ass, to crush it. And I love the Silicon Valley this week, there's actually a little bit of uh, toss to that when they're interviewing new uh, new hires at the, at the company. But anyways, um, anyways, but he's a really good one. Uh, right now he's doing an Ask Gary V show, but really look up any videos you know on his channel, and and he's very a very good speaker, swears a lot, you know, very motivated, and it gets me going, you know, and uh, that I want to crush it, and I hope I'm crushing it really hard with these uh, crushing it podcasts. But anyways, so. Uh, the other one is uh, uh, back to work with Merlin Mann. He's a guy that was a very organizationally minded blogger from a, a few years ago. I discovered, I think, originally via MacBreak Weekly, uh, as I'm a longtime Twit listener, of course. And uh, he he discusses on his back to work program. It's about it's about uh, kind of productivity and motivation and really kind of the weird psychoses that we end up with. So <laughs> that's been an interesting. Uh, change over the last few uh, uh, 
uh, it was 100 episodes, I guess. Uh, but, uh, you know, one thing that I hear often is be the thing you want to be, kind of. Well, the, well, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, if you're somebody who's like, man, I want to be a blogger, blog. If I want to, and Gary v, Gary V talks about this too. It says, look in the mirror. What is the thing that you are? What is the thing that you're most passionate about? Be that thing. If you're a blogger, blog. If you want to be a writer, write. If you want to be a videographer, video. Uh, one comment I usually say when I'm interviewing new videographers and, and talking about, do you have a camera? Great. You're one step ahead of half the people I talk to. Use it. Don't let that thing collect dust. Even if you have an iPhone, if you're a, a, a budding videographer, budding photographer, and you have an iPhone, you have an Android, you know, POS, you can do some sort of video. Do something with it. If you have an iPhone, you have no, you have no excuse. No excuse. That thing is amazing. I just did a presentation on uh, Thursday night at a Fresh From Farm Juices. Uh, you can check it out on the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine YouTube. And I'm probably going to do a post and maybe actually probably a talk this week on this show about it. Um, I'm kind of scheduling a lot of stuff happened last week, actually. And um, but the stuff you can do with these things, I'm periscoping. Hi, guys. You know, on this thing, uh, the stuff you can do with these things are so amazing. Right. I mean, you, people are there's a movie coming out. That was made on an iPhone. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. I know we were sharing it on, um, I think, the Rambling Movie, but it's uh, Facebook group, for instance. You you do not have an excuse. You don't need the three thousand dollar prosumer camera like I have to do that thing. And and even when I ha when you you have the two to three thousand dollar prosumer camera, that thing should not go a week without recording something. I don't care if you're recording your cat. Okay, you should record something. So here's where the challenge is coming around to do that thing once a day. I have a friend that is really big and I think would be very entertaining if he did Vine videos. Do the Vines every day. You want to be a YouTube star, do the YouTube every day or at least some sort of sequence. Uh, the ones that I know, watching the, the YouTubers documentary on Netflix, they talk about, you know, they do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Get that schedule. Maybe that's what you need to do. Or maybe you need to do like me and I come down here every day, four days a week. Okay, every day-ish. And I get in front of this microphone. This was not to create a new show. This is not to expand on the network necessarily. This was for me to better myself. I want to be a podcaster. And maybe not a podcaster. I want to be a presenter. I want to be uh, I, I, somebody that that is uh, projecting, right? Uh, my ideas and uh, helping some people like I'm trying to do here. Um, or, or really just have an outlet, right? And that's what I did here. And now I have, you know, three to five people on Periscope joining me every morning. And I have people coming up to me and say, hey, I listen to your show. By the way, still disarms me every time. Um, you know, it, 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 and I have something here that I didn't have in July of last year, right? Uh, that I'm able to expand upon. And now I'm doing four shows every morning starting this week. You know, it seems to make sense. But that's, you know, that daily content. It's something in a different format than I'm used to doing. And I want to be the person that knows how to create those things and create some engagement and and then be able to say, hey, this is what I did, you know, and this is what I like doing is showing people how to do this. That's my job is doing it for other people and showing them how to do this. That I'm going to be sitting down with at least two people this week to discuss those kinds of things. Hey, this is what I did. Here's how you guys could do it. Uh, oh, you're running into that problem. I've seen that too. I mean, it's just a, a, it, this is a knowledge industry, and I'm I'm trying to sit here in front of a microphone and gain knowledge by all the things I screw up. By why does that noise keep happening? And I noise reduce it, and that we're going to fix that thing. Why does this uh, meerkat keep going into audio mode? And now I'm experiencing, and I'm using those things, and I can parlay those knowledges. You know why that is? Because I do something every day, even on weekends. The worst thing for me was when I went for two weeks vacation in San Francisco over, over Christmas. I know that sounds so horrible, right? But I made a conscious decision only to bring my phone and my, do, my new quote-unquote iPad 3 that I received. Received, traded, with, along with my Pebble. Okay, I have my Pebble too. But I, I just got those. I've traded my Google Glass for them. You can, we discussed it multiple times just this past week, even on the Awesome Cast with the Does It Hold Up guys. You know, and it killed me. 
And maybe this is maybe you're not in the mindset for this. Maybe it's something you need to grow into, and you're not going to do until you're ready. It's just like losing weight. It's just like uh, get, getting yourself out of that depressive mode. You're not going to do it until you're ready. You're not going to start creating things until you decide you are that person that's going to create that thing or do that thing or be good at that thing. You know, play guitar every day so you become a great guitarist. You're not going to do it until you're ready for it. And I feel like I'm going to sound exactly like the guy from Grit. You know, the news is, typically, you're not ready for it. You know, oh, I want to do this someday. One Sunday is killer. I'll do that, I'll do that someday. One day I'll do this. I, I had a discussion uh, early on. I think I tweeted or had a blog. If you, every time I say someday this is going to happen, one day I'm going to do this, you've satisfi satisfied yourself and that craving to do that thing, and it's never going to happen. You know how I've done half the things I did? About five years ago, I started saying one day. I make that today. So make one thing. What is that thing you want to be? Are you blogging? Are you writing? Are you making video? Are you making audio? Whatever it is, it, it could be something outside the box for that, music, something like that. Make a little bit of something a day. I'm trying to do some writing, I guess we'll say, for a project. And I'm attempting to dedicate, and time is the issue for me, of course, but I'm trying to dedicate and add one more thing to my stack to writing or organizing that thing once a day, every day. And eventually I'll get there. I've got my 10,000 hours, hopefully-ish, or closer to it as far as this goes, this, whatever this is. And I'm trying to add another 10,000 hours and become maybe a passing expert at something else. So get started today. Let me know what is that thing. Let me know in a week from now. Let me know. And uh, I'd love to see what is your one thing. What have you decided to be that you have not maybe successfully been or need a little more dedication to uh, recently? And uh, let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitters, comments to this video and audio. Uh, also on Facebook. And also, of course, Sorgatron.com is kind of the main place for all this stuff to happen. And uh, please check out everything going on, Sorgatronmedia.com. Too numerous for me to mention. Talking with TEDx Pittsburgh. TEDx. Ted X Pittsburgh's uh, co-organizer uh, this week on the Awesome Cast is the new show. Plus, uh, check out my uh, podcast experiment, also at Sorgatron.com. Currently called the TBA Podcast with Will and Mike. We're looking for a name. We're building a podcast from the inside out. And you guys can help. We have a link there for a poll for a name. You can suggest any. There was something called uh, DJ and the Mike's Morning Afternoon Show was one of the suggestions. Currently winning at uh, three votes. Uh, please beat it or come up with a better name. And I uh, really appreciate that. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.